Friends, today I am gonna teach you how can we use mosaic effect in PowerPoint. Isn't it awesome mosaic effect? So let's learn step by step. And if you'll watch this video till end, I am sure you can also make mosaic effect in PowerPoint today itself. Hello friends, my name is Sachil and you are watching channel Tech Today. Let's open a new PowerPoint and name it as PPT, then delete its layout. Now let's insert an image on which you want to give an mosaic effect. Here I have already copied an image and so I am pasting the image. Now go to the insert option and select rectangle shape. Then draw it on full image. Then cut the image and adjust the rectangle shape. Now select on shape outline option under shape format and click on no line option. Then go to the shape fill option under shape format. Here change the color of the shape to light gray color. Now again go to the insert option and select rectangle. Now add different size of rectangles inside the big rectangle shape. This you can do as per your preference. Friends, it will take little bit more time, but definitely its outcome will be superb. So I feel this design is better. Here I don't require rectangular shape to this design. So let me remove rectangular icons from all the corners. Now increase the size of the light color rectangular shape over the entire area of the slide. Then first select the big rectangular shape and then select all the rectangular shape by holding control button. Now go to the merge shape option under shape format and select combine. Then insert the same image. So I have already cut the image. Now I am pasting it. Here it is. Image of Dr. Abdul Kalam sir is appeared. Now placed it exactly on the small rectangular shape like this. Then right click on the image and select send to back option. Now first select image and then select big rectangular shape by pressing control button. Then go to the merge shape option and select fragment. So here you can see the image is scattered in different rectangular shape. Now go to the format background option by right clicking from mouse and select the slide color as black. Let's move to the final part of the presentation. Now I will add some animation to this design. First I will select this box at the top and select fly animation. Then go to the effect options and select from top option. Then go to the animation pen and change its duration to 0.25 seconds. Then select this rectangular box and add fly animation. Then go to the effect options and select from top option. Change its duration to 0.25 seconds and select start after previous option. Then select top left side rectangle and do the same procedure as done for previous. Here I will select each rectangle box individually and follow the same procedure as before. Now let's select all these animations together and change the duration to 0.25 seconds and select start after previous option. Let's play and see the effect. So here you can see each box is coming one another will definitely give the cool effect. Let's move further and add animations to leftover rectangular boxes. 
Here change the effect option from left side. And for this rectangle change the effect from right side. Then continue adding animations to remaining rectangular shapes. Now select these animations together, change its duration to 0.25 seconds and select start after previous. Then continue adding animations to remaining rectangular shapes. Now again select this much animations then change its duration to 0.25 seconds and select start after previous. Let's continue animation part. Here change the effect option from bottom left. And for this box change the effect option from bottom right. Then continue adding animations accordingly. Now let's select all the animations and change its duration to 0.25 seconds and select start after previous option. Then let's continue animation for remaining boxes. And here effect will be given from bottom. So it is not required to be selected as it is by default. For this one give effect from bottom right. Here select from bottom left. So accordingly continue. From here onwards animation given by default effect that is from bottom. Let's add on all these animations the same effect what I did for previous. So select all the animations and change its duration to 0.25 seconds and select start after previous option. Then continue to complete this animation part. So lastly select remaining all animations and change its duration and select start after previous. So let's play and see how does it looks. It's really awesome. Now let's play it on full screen. So friends how do you like this mosaic effect kindly write in the comment section. And if you are really liking these videos kindly give thumbs up to this video share with your friends and do subscribe our channel. Thank you friends bye bye take care.